Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. Will 3 billion people in India and China drive Bitcoin and crypto mass adoption? We're going to look into two different articles that kind of give us a hint as to what may be in the future in the regards of India and China when it comes to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency being adopted by the masses. So let's get right into it. In today's video, we're going to look at three different articles. The first one we're going to look at is about stimulus checks spent on Bitcoin are now up 35%. We're going to look at the exchange aggregator CoinSwitch is launching app a new app in India. And we're going to look, look at an article from a former Bank of China president says the digital yuan can replace cash. Now he's, he's specifically referring to Chinese cash, but he hints in his article that he thinks that the digital yuan could have a much larger impact globally and actually could disrupt other kinds of cash. So... This could be uh, uh, really, really important information. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. It makes a huge difference with the, the YouTube algorithms. So I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Anytime you're investing in cryptocurrency, be sure to take a look at this disclaimer so that you understand the risks that you're taking. Now, at this moment, it is currently 6.47 a.m. Central Standard Time on May 6, 2020, and Bitcoin has just hit $9,254.74. And so in the last hour or so, Bitcoin has jumped up about $200, but in the last 24 hours, it's jumped up about $400, giving it around a 4% increase, a 4% gain. And so will we see Bitcoin continue to uh, increase during the day and possibly smash through that $10,000 price? It's hard to say, uh, but we can always be hopeful. All right, so stimulus checks spent on Bitcoin are now up 35%. When the stimulus checks were handed out, many people used them to buy Bitcoin and it's already paying off. So those who invested their government stimulus checks in Bitcoin in mid-April have already been rewarded with 35% gains. The price of Bitcoin reached $9,000 on May 5th, making those checks now worth $1,610, but will the halving change things? So those who purchased Bitcoin with their coronavirus stimulus checks have already profited to the tune of 35%. I don't know of anything else you could have invested in and in the last few weeks made a 35% gain outside of Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency, but that is significant. When the U.S. government checks arrived mid-April, many announced their intentions to splurge on guns, tigers, and Bitcoin. This was not long after the price of Bitcoin was cut in half over two days in March. So Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong provided data which showed a near four-fold increase in the number of Bitcoin purchases on exchanges worth exactly $1,200, the same amount as the stimulus checks on the day they were handed out. So just thought it was really interesting that a group of people, a large number of people, well, to be more precise, four times the normal number of people investing $1,200 into Bitcoin uh, occurred exactly on the day that the stimulus checks were being handed out. The chart they're talking about is kind of funny because it just just it goes along, da 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 da, kind of going sideways. No big increase, no big loss um, in terms of the number of people investing twelve hundred dollars into Bitcoin, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, on a single day, it just skyrockets. Goes the the chart goes straight up. It's almost like it hit a corner or hit a wall and just went uh, sky high. So kind of funny. 
Now, exchange aggregator CoinSwitch launches an app in India. I didn't realize until I read this article that CoinSwitch is actually uh, was originally an India company. So I thought that was very interesting because I use I have used CoinSwitch in order to transfer cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency exchange aggregator CoinSwitch will launch its CoinSwitch Kuber app on June one. It's exclusive to users in India. So that's why this is kind of important for Indian users. The mobile app will support over 100 coins. Now, I know a lot of exchanges. I've used a number of exchanges that don't even have more than, say, 25 coins on them. So for them to start out with over 100 cryptocurrencies on day one for this Indian app, that's really significant. Users need to be verified with Know Your Customer and anti-money laundering procedures before depositing rupees into their account. India had a fairly rocky rocky relationship trading until March when the Supreme Court overturned a ban imposed by the Reserve Bank of India. The Supreme Court actually said that the Reserve Bank of India had overstepped its legal bounds. Uh, coin switch started in India, and that's what I was referring to. I did not realize that coin switch started in India, intending to innovate for the Indian market. But due to the RBI ban, we decided to focus on the global market by aggregating top exchanges to provide crypto to crypto conversions at the best rates. We believe that there is a huge untapped potential in the Indian crypto ecosystem. Uh, Singhal said there is room to grow for cryptocurrencies in India as market conditions and a lack of trust in traditional investments make crypto an attractive alternative. With the new product, CoinSwitch CEO expects to accelerate crypto adoption across India. Prior to the launch, CoinSwitch Kuber aims to sign up 25,000 people to its service. So, How big is the potential market in India? I mean, really, how many people in India actually have a cell phone? Well, today in India, there are 1.4 billion people. So even if the number of people that have a cell phone is a small amount of people, you could have huge potential. So in this graph here, we can see the number of people The number of smartphone users in India from 2015 to 2022 in millions. And you can see here that starting around 2015, the number of people that had cell phones was about 200 million. And that that has continued to grow year after year until 2020. They're estimating that 442 million people have smartphones. Now, think about that for a minute. That's more smartphones than there are people in the United States. And with a country that has 1.4 billion people, that is about a third of the country currently have smartphones. And so if those, if any decent portion of those 442 million people get involved in cryptocurrency, that could have a dramatic change in the cryptocurrency industry because right now the estimates indicate that there's somewhere around uh, 5 million, 20 million. We're not really sure, but there's not a huge number of people um, that are invested in cryptocurrencies. And so if it makes any significant dent into this 442 million smartphones, it will be significant. So coin switch is a website where you can pick a cryptocurrency and there's quite a long list of cryptocurrencies and you can swap it from one cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency. I've used them, instead of putting my money on an exchange, I can keep my crypto in a hardware wallet and then when I'm ready to trade from one crypto to another crypto, I can go to CoinSwitch and the only time my... my, uh, Uh, crypto ever leaves the hardware wallet is during the the amount of time it takes to transfer it from one coin to another coin. And so the amount of time it takes coin switch to transfer uh, your cryptocurrency from, say, Bitcoin to Tether 
or you know to any other uh, crypto well not any many other cryptocurrencies there's a there's actually quite a few of them i don't recall how many but there's there's got to be a more than a hundred now that's just a guess so don't hold me to it but there's a bunch of different cryptos on coin switch and so if we wanted to we could be switching bitcoin over here to something called dent that does tell us that there is a maximum amount per transaction of dent of of 0 0.9 so if we put this to 0 0.9 it will automatically give us a conversion rate of how many dent that we receive now you may want to run this um, into a calculator in other words go find somewhere that gives you a current value of bitcoin and a current value of dent to make sure that when you receive your dent it's actually a good deal um, most of the time I found CoinSwitch Pro to be a good deal, but every once in a while I found transactions where it was not a good deal. And so I'll try and either calculate out the value of both of them to make sure that the value of what I'm putting in is close to the value of what I'm getting out. Or in some cases, I'll just, there's, a, there's quite a number of different uh, aggregators that are similar to CoinSwitch out there. And I might look at two or three or four different ones to figure out which one is going to give me the best rate. So I'm going to give them a certain amount of crypto and I want to find the one that gives me the most amount of my return crypto. Anyway, um, I was surprised that CoinSwitch is actually uh, an India corporation. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, former Bank of China president says digital yuan can replace cash. The central bank digital yuan is currently in the test phase and is generating excitement among Chinese internet users. Searches on the impact of the digital yuan and cryptocurrency in general has skyrocketed in recent times. Uh, Li Hu gave a live streaming talk on people's news on May 5th and explained that unlike WeChat Pay and Alipay, the digital yawn is designed to be independent from any network or third-party bank. However, he said, for the digital yawn to replace cash or other current payment solutions, four key conditions need to be met. So whether the digital yawn can become the dominant form of currency and mainstream payment means depends on whether it's has greater efficiency, lower transaction costs, enough economic scale with commercial value and people's acceptance. And so if the digital yawn achieves those four lofty goals, who knows what, what fiat, what dollars, European dollars, European Union, uh, etc., could the digital yawn actually replace? One thing that has been an interesting conversation that I've seen more and more of is people are concerned about the pandemic getting infected into uh, paper, paper bills. And so people are reluctant to want to have a dollar bill or a paper currency um, because of concerns of different forms of infection, even metal currency, um, you know, such as a, a, a quarter or some other uh, piece of metal you know the round metal that you can use for for money uh, could actually be carrying the virus on it so people are becoming more and more concerned about those sorts of things and that concern may drive the acceptance of digital money or um, digital central bank money it, it sounds like it's driving the united states to to speed up its process of actually creating uh, digital currency so time will tell hey how can i be of service to you do you have questions thoughts qu uh, anything that you want to talk about please leave your comments down below on the youtube channel um, do you disagree with what i've said here please share your polite disagreements look you know things i don't know i know things that you don't know but when we share what we know with each other. We're going to grow smarter together. I want to grow smarter with you, so please leave your comments below. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. I hope that you have a fantastic day.